Hello, this is a very quick look at the Sega Mega Drive Mini. This gives you 16-bit arcade graphics plus digital stereo sound. Loaded onto it are 40 classic games, including things such as Streets of Rage, Sonic, Golden Axe. There's quite a wide variety of them, although I'm sure some people will think there's a few missing that would have been obvious to put on. Included in the pack are two wired controllers, the instructions, a USB charging cable, a HDMI cable, and the little Mega Drive Mini. If you ever had a Mega Drive, you'll feel right at home when you take a look at this. It's even got the little switches in the right places. However, it does use USB to connect the controllers. Now, you might have noticed the little hinge on top. Unfortunately, that's just for show. You can't plug in any Mega Drive cartridges. There's HDMI out and DC in, and that's powered by an included USB. Once you do power it on, you get a nice slick menu. You can adjust the sorting of the games by number of players, the release date, A to Z, and it's a really smooth interface. If you've ever tried to use an emulator, you'll know that they can sometimes be a little bit jerky, but no problems with this. You can see it's nice and smooth, full access to all the games straight away. Simply select the one you want to play using the control pad, and it even gives you great information like whether it's one player or two player. When you load it up, you'll be reminded that you can save and return to the main menu. You don't have to restart this. What I really love is they've kept the classic every time that you start a game and the games are hosted in a window. So even if you've got a widescreen TV, these won't be stretched and they won't look silly. On the control pad itself, you've got the start key. Long hold that and that will bring up a save load option, something that was missing from the original one. And this is also how you return to the main menu. So if you want to swap games, long hold save, go back to the main menu and you can easily then swap it out for one of the other games without having to change a cartridge. It does come with two controllers if you want to play games two player and they are wired controllers. So they do come with a decent length. I would have to sit forward though to make sure I'm not stretching that wire, but this takes me back to the days when you had to sit on the floor to get close to the console. It's been great playing these really old school games and I'm sure if you've got kids, it'd be a great way to introduce them to some classic titles. I hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching.